Hello all, welcome. So on your screen, you see an interesting problem statement here, which we have tried to solve and analyze. So here is an RC circuit. The arrangement of register and capacitor is as shown. You apply an input to this circuit and you want to understand what is the output. What is the input to this circuit? Input is a step input. It means you have a zero volt in the beginning and suddenly you switch on the supply, power supply to the circuit and it switches from zero volt to V in. V in can be any level of voltage. Let's say one volt, five volt, or we will just say it is V in. And the switching time, uh, is ideally zero, but in practical uh, power supplies, you would still need uh, some time, let's say microseconds or nanoseconds to switch between one voltage level to the another. So ideally we would say the input is switching between zero to V in, in no time, and then it remains constant. So basically your signal, input signal to this circuit is a constant voltage initially zero volt and then suddenly uh, you have V in right over here. So R is here and we have got a capacitance across which we are interested to see what is going to be the output. So the first stage before we uh, go, this is the first stage, second stage and the third stage right here. We want to understand how the capacitor behaves and its relation with the charge and the voltage, which is very commonly known to most of you. So we know that the capacitance is a charge over voltage. And from this equation, we see that the charge in in fact C multiplied by the voltage. And similarly, voltage across the capacitor, you just take Q over C, which is written over here. So this is the voltage across the capacitor for a given value of a capacitance, you know the charge. If you know the charge for a given value of capacitance, you know the voltage. If you know the capacitance and the voltage across the capacitance, you know how to calculate the charge. And if you are given a value of voltage across the capacitor and you know the charge, you can evaluate or calculate the capacitance. So let's say you initially have zero volt as an input signal because that's why we are applying zero volt here. And you have a resistor and the capacitor is shown here as a, acting as an open circuit. Why? Because we say that this circuit is like this and uh, zero volt is across it since a long time. And initially we assume there is no charge on the capacitor, it is fully discharged. If we assume so, which is ideally the case, if you let the circuit like this, so the capacitor has no charge and because the charge is zero, the voltage across the capacitance is going to be zero for a given value of a capacitance. That's why we say that capacitor is acting as a, just like an open circuit. And therefore, we want to know what is the voltage here. So for a zero volt, there is essentially no current flowing into the circuit, capacitor acting as an open and VO equal to therefore zero volt. Obviously, no input to the circuit, no output across it, across the capacitance. Similarly, if you want to know what is the voltage across the resistor? As there is no current flowing through the resistor, the voltage across the resistor will also be zero. So we say that this is the steady state condition of the circuit. So we say that circuit has been in this state since long time where the capacitor is fully discharged, there has been no charge. Okay, but if you assume that there has been some initial charge on the capacitor, the voltage across the capacitor will therefore be calculated. You know the value of capacitance and the capacitance uh, has a charge on it. So you can know what's the voltage. But suddenly now you switch on the voltage to the circuit from zero volt to the V in. 
as I said, so V in has a level now of a voltage. Since the property of the capacitance is such that it opposes a sudden change in a voltage across it. I repeat, it opposes a sudden change a voltage across it. So initially the voltage across it was zero volt and we say that it is in the circuit is in it in this state since long time. So capacitor will not allow the sudden change of voltage from zero volt to be in level. Therefore, it will act as a shot. And therefore, there is a voltage across the capacitor if you try to measure during that period, during the switching period, you will see that the voltage is zero volt. This is there going to be there for some time. So this is called as transient moment or transient state of the circuit. So if you want to know what is the current into the circuit in that case, you can say that current will be the voltage divided by resistance. And that current is simply V in divided by R. And the voltage across R will be, you can also write the voltage across R if you want to write, let me write here. So if you want to see that V R, that is the voltage across I times R. And the I will be obviously V, v in divided by R. But we are interested in this voltage. So during transient moment, you have zero volts. Okay. Now let us go one more moment. Once your switching transient time has passed, now you have a steady voltage, a constant voltage of V in that would be having a certain value. So V in has now this state that is the constant voltage and the current that started flowing into the circuit during the transient moment will start charging the capacitance. Since there is a charge building up on the capacitance now, the voltage will start rising. As the voltage will start rising, capacitance will start or in other words, we are saying capacitor starts charging and voltage across the capacitor will eventually become equal to what is you have at the input that is the constant voltage. So graphically, we can represent this uh, behavior in this way. So if you see that this is the voltage and this is the time and this is the voltage, you would see that you have a voltage level. This is your V in. And if you want to know what is going to be my capacitance, it is going to be like this. So this is the VC. That is the voltage across, which is equal to basically VO. Okay, this is equal to VO. That is what we are measuring here. Okay, and capacitance is acting as a open again. And if you want to know the current into the circuit, that is going to be zero amp, right? Because capacitance acting as a as a, a open circuit now. Eventually, the current will start. If you if you want to have that, uh, let me draw it here. The current would be. Uh, or can be drawn like this, the current is going to be like this. So eventually it is zero amp. But during the transient moment, you have the value of the current that you have calculated. Okay. So uh, during the transient moment, you have some current value I equal to V in divided by R. Okay. So this is how the behavior will look like. Okay, so this we will say that now the circuit in is in this state since long time. Again, you switch on the voltage level to a different level, the behavior will be different. Now, what happens if we swap the position of resistors and capacitors? So let us scroll it down. I have this circuit right over here. Before that, let me erase this. Uh, erase this uh, for a moment. Just uh, hold on a second. Uh, let me just clean this. If I can clean this, just a moment. Okay, so now have a look at this particular 
problem statement where we have swapped the position of the capacitance and resistance. So capacitor is right here and resistor is right here. And now we are interesting for the same input condition, the voltage across the resistor. Okay, and similarly, we can have the voltage across the capacitor as well. So let's say you have zero volt, being equal to zero volt, and what would be the VO look like in the form of graphical waveform? So VIN is equal to zero volt. Obviously, we assume again, there is no initial charge on the capacitor. So the voltage across the capacitance is zero. VC is equal to zero and capacitor is acting as an open circuit. What about the current in the circuit? This is acting as an open. There is no current flow into the circuit. So current is also equal to zero. So if we want to draw the graphical waveform for this uh, particular signal, we can draw that. So let me let me draw it here. Let's say this is the time. This is the voltage. And I want to draw the first signal that is my input. So input is now right over here is my V in and that is equal to zero volt. And uh, in that case, if I want to understand what is going to be the voltage across the uh, capacitance is uh, obviously zero. So here also, I would say v in is equal to vc and that is also the voltage across what else what about the current current is also zero right uh, am i drawing it properly so current is also going to be initially zero there is no current into the circuit zero amp okay but obviously uh this is the voltage axis so we can't really draw the current but rather maybe here I can say that I have a current axis. So it's starting from uh, zero ampere right over here. Okay, so don't uh, get confused with that. Now, uh, the voltage output voltage, uh, I would say is zero volt because there is no current into the circuit. So VO is equal to I times R and I is zero. So therefore V is equal to zero volt. That's what I have written here. So I would say uh, this, let me draw this, uh, signal here and this is my this is my vo which is equal to zero okay so this is my steady state i am saying the circuit is in this state since long time but suddenly now i switch on uh, input signal level to the v in so obviously the property of the capacitor is in such a way that uh uh, well, it will momentarily act as a short circuit because it opposes a sudden change of voltage across it. So initially the voltage across the capacitance was zero, output also was zero. So the voltage here will also be zero during the transient moment and the voltage across the resistance now, the circuit capacitor is making the circuit close. So there is this current flow. There is this current flow into the circuit now. Okay, so you have the current which has a level of V in divided by R. There is this current I and VO will be therefore uh, I times R which is equal to V in. Okay, so during the transient moment, the output voltage will have the input voltage across it. So output will be equal to input voltage. And once this transient moment has passed where V in is now a full constant voltage here. The capacitor is uh, going to uh, be open circuit because this current will start charging the capacitance and uh, eventually the capacitor will act as an open circuit having a full voltage across it. The VC will be equal to V in. And uh, since there is no current due to capacitance acting open here, VO will again go to zero volt. That is the steady state condition. So you can exercise for you would be to plot the transient and the steady state waveforms for V in, VC, and VO on this graph. Okay, so I hope I would be able. I have been able to explain you the behavior of interesting behavior of capacitance and the step input voltage into the first order RC circuit. Uh, so you can see that this circuit will act as a filter also. 
we have explained that in some other moment and modules you can refer to that so hope you found this uh, module useful if it did so share it with others for a wider reach and uh, stay tuned for more engaging content like this till then wish you a very happy learning